I just know if right now, I just want to like kind of tell funny stories. Like, I don't know if you saw my post today. Today about, with the shake of the shit? Or wiping yeah. your ass? Dig. <laughs> oh, those, that literally, that, that's a real story, bro. I was I, like, no I, way this is a real story. I am. I'm talking about real. The she, caption, the caption it was very, it worked. I literally just wanted <laughs> to get people to click on it and listen. But I, I hope they don't think I was bullshitting because I, and bro, everything I said in that video, my wife literally watched me stand up and wipe my ass. <laughs> Something in me just said, Reese, somebody's looking at you, bro. And when I turned, she was like, <laughs> I can't believe that's a real story. <laughs> I froze for like 15 seconds because like I'm married. So we, we, right, right. The door open. Now there's rules to it. Okay. For certain, <laughs> for us, if your turd is hitting the water and making a sound, close the door. I don't want her to hear that. She don't want me to hear to her. Cause, <laughs> Cause she already knows if I hear her, I'm gonna be like, God damn. Yeah, it's hard for us to, when, when, thing when is the if, females do it, I don't like that. <laughs> bro, I, I don't, yeah, that's that's where I'm like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, oh, I try to fuck later on. <laughs> if, you just, if you just sitting on a pot, it ain't making no noise. You know, we having regular conversation. It's cool, it's hey, cool. Da -da -da -da, such and such did this, I hate this girl, whatever. But then when it comes time to wipe, you know you got to close the door, you do your thing, and then you open up and you continue the conversation. It's, but if it's if, but if it stinks real bad, the conversation probably stopped a long time ago and they exited or whatever. So, <laughs> right. bro, I'm literally sitting there, we talking. I'm on Instagram because you know I, I told everybody with a small business for Black Friday, yeah, send right, me a right, post, right. I'll repost it on my story. So I'm steady trying to like get everybody in that, that sent me something. And I had took pre-workout because I was finna work out. And that's the only reason why I took a shit because I, I didn't want to be <laughs> some reason for that pre-workout, it pushes that shit out. <laughs> Boom, gotta go. So I was like, all right, let me let me just drink the pre-workout now. And then by the time I'm finished, I'll be able to, I'll be ready to work out. So I got all this stuff going on. We're talking. In my head, I said, hey Reese, shut the door. You need to wipe your ass. And I think someone Instagram or something popped up. So I did that. And once I, I finished it. I just went straight into the motion, stood up, you know, spread my ass. <laughs> right, right, right. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Dink, 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 dink. I right. threw it down, I think I did it again. And of course, I don't know if it's just me, I think everybody do this, you look at it, cause you gotta make sure- You got, yeah. Wait, wait, so, wait, wait. If you don't look at it, you a nasty, bold right. motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be playing. That's that's some Russian roulette with your ass. <laughs> or your, your draws. <laughs> so, I, I I think as I'm dropping it, I can I think I can see the door right here, and I'm like, why the fuck is this door open? Like <laughs> doors never open when I wipe my ass. And so when I turn out, like my ass is still spread. <laughs> and I look over, and she's just on the couch where we've been having our regular conversation the whole time, and she's just like, <laughs> and so I think I slowly close the door. I said something, and she started dying laughing. Okay, like, at least it was all right. Cool, it, it was a laugh at least. I, I thought like she really hurt herself. She was she was choking so bad because <laughs> she, was like, she was like, "Babe, our relationship is at a new level now." <laughs> <laughs> but we've been married for like three years and together what since to, since like 2011. So, I mean, I've took plenty of shits and wiped plenty of my ass. Like yeah, right, right. The door yeah, shut. Yeah. And, like this is the first time where she like. And she even she was like, I think I saw a little boo boo too. And I'm like, ah, oh, she fucking oh, with you. I, I, told her, I, said, I said, hey man, I, I think I need a little space. <laughs> I need a little space. <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. Like, it's it's one thing to see a motherfucker's turd, like you know they forget to flush or a little little floater. It's another thing to to see the 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 shit in the paper in the toilet paper still in the person's head. <laughs> I've never seen that. Bro, my shit is my shit, so I can look at my shit and be fine. But right, seeing you, right. else is like, like they shit can look just like mine. Same but thing. I see it. It's just <laughs> even like pissing into like if I like go to a urinal and there's already pee there, that's nasty to me. Yeah, it is. Like yeah. I don't even want to pee in somebody else's pee because I don't need no droplets jumping back up. I know. So what do you do wait, when you take a shit at like a public? Do you gotta go? I try to wait personally, but if I if I got to go, what do you? Do you do like the, the full method? Do you do the, the squat method? What you doing? Swap, swap, swap. You do swap. you do the full? 
Oh, oh, you going? Swap. How Swap. many lay? Wait, how many Swap. layers you going? Swap. Man, I'm sitting on a damn couch by the time. Then <laughs> <laughs> you got a love seat. <laughs> Man, it's, it's, all right, love. So look, right? So you got the toilet, right? You already know that you're gonna put these two pieces. Then you put that top piece, but right here, <laughs> little piece of that, that seat. <laughs> that, so little piece gotta, there, that little piece. That little piece. You gotta get those two little pieces. Put that there. Put yeah, that. Yeah. There. Sometimes maybe you, you got the, the edge. The edges is too wide, so now right, you gotta grab right. another piece there. So, <laughs> see, and you know, like most of the public toilet, for at least for the guys, probably everybody, it's like open, right, where the dick part be. So I sometimes I'll do like a wrap around, because I don't want. Listen, maybe I'm wrong. If my dick touches the the seat that that's open, that's not as bad as that bottom part. Don't Bro. touch the, the the porcelain. Man, bowl. <laughs> if you touch that bottom, your dick go fall off. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bro, true though, man. Ain't nothing worse than that, man. Man, that's the worst feeling is to have the top of your head touch that piece. Yeah, Cause you like, oh, well, oh. I got AIDS now. I <laughs> like I lasted this long, my. <laughs> uh, no, take your shit to public. Now, how are you about making the sound, like the? Doo -doo? <laughs> man, I have to have my earphones in, like you know, forever. Um, cause I've always been in the corporate world, so. Normally, wherever I took a shit, it was always like a nice bathroom. Or you always look for the nice bathroom, and that's the one that you always go to. And I was going to handicap stall, so if I ever go to. Wait, wait, how, but you know, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. They say everyone say, everyone goes to handicap stall, but what if because everyone knows that that ain't the nice one? Maybe. Well, I, <laughs> where, I do. I, too. I worked somewhere, man, and there was um. We all know a lot of Indian people do IT. If you're in the corporate world. That is just what it is. Okay. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what if they you're do. In accounting. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna see certain personalities like the, it's certain stereotypes that hold true or whatever. And all these guys, they would always eat Indian food. And if you know anything about Indian food, because my wife's Nigerian, so their food is like hella spicy. And so, you mean spices, not even like hot. You mean spices or hot? No, it's hot, like hot and spices. Well, I know with Indian food, they shit is hot and spices. I so love Indian food. I could always tell. When they didn't came up out the bathroom, cause the same way it smell when he coming out the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> same <laughs> smell. <laughs> the smell coming up out that ass, man. So I don't always have to have my earphones, bro, because it seems like every time I didn't have them, people would come in there with the the biggest sub subwoofer booties, man. And, <laughs> and it, it, bro, I don't know what it is like, but when I shit, I I, I guess I'm poop shy. So I have to sit there a while and then I can go. But like other people, they shit, like they got somewhere. Beep, beep, beep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Quick, fast, and hurry. Right. I'm sitting there in the next stall, like, you know me, I I'm always like video ready. So I'm like one to like have my phone recording. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But. I would say uh, with me, I, uh, so my buddy Steve, he don't give a fuck about him. I don't like making the sounds, or I didn't before. So like, it, it, it's, it's gotten so bad for me that some, I'd be taking the shit and going in, right? And then somebody walk in and I'll stop mid turn and hold it for the whole time until that person take their shit. <laughs> and then they leave, wash their hands, leave. So I'm talking what a good five minutes and I'm still like, <laughs> and then let it out. Cause I'm so, I'm so worried, I'm so self-conscious at the time. About making that noise. That's, that's why I had the earphones. Man, I had that bass booming. I know oh, they get so, my music. Oh, you mean like out of sight, out of mind? Yep. I'm like, oh, boop, boop, right. boop, boop. <laughs> I, can feel, I can feel it, and I know it's making a noise, but I can't hear it, so I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know uh, it did, but so I remember I was in the Bahamas, and I was telling my guy like, "Man, I hate." It. He goes, "She." I, I, he goes, "I play battle shits with they. I let them know." And he was like, "He he says he tries to go loud on purpose." <laughs> like, you a wild boy. <laughs> I used to flip my ID card over because you know, of course, you pull your pants down so your ID card is like showing. Oh so I, yeah, that's I, a good I would point. Flip the card and then like I always wore the same shoes, so I could tell like, oh, this is such and such that's in here today. <laughs> so. Hey, what up, Tyrone? <laughs> uh, I yeah, I always stayed away from, but I'm getting better at it though. And here's how I, I made a video too, not that long ago, was when I first feel, realized I don't give a fuck. I went to like this club 
And I was like, and I had the shit, man. I, I just, I had to go. And it's the most disgusting thing ever. In this, wow. you know, but I had to go, right? And I was like, we, I was like waiting for the stall. So, I, and there was like, there was regular urinals. But clearly if I'm waiting, they know I'm about to go in there, right? Mind you, I've always dealt with this self-aware, self, you know, I don't want people knowing this about me. But then I made a, I made a YouTube or I made an Instagram video about taking a shit at the club and how bold it was, you know? And that was the first time that I felt like I, I truly don't give a fuck. Okay. Like it's something that bothered me for like really bad that I like, I th again, I held my sh health. It was like half turd, half out, half in for five minutes and it hurt. <laughs> so and that's a yeah. Hey, uh, when can you, can you recall the time that you had to shit and how it feels like the, the worst ever in your life? Like I gotta go, it like hurts. Man, my worst experience was shitting on an airplane. Oh no! First time on an airplane, man. Like I, like, bro, I, like, I don't fly. Like I'm not scared to fly, but I just have never really fucking gone nowhere, bro. Like I, I went to, I think my first time flying, I was in college, and uh, we went to Vegas uh, for my friend's birthday, and so like, we flew there, and then we were leaving because we wanted to stay an extra day. We had to change our flight, so we had to fly to LAX after that land and so in my head i'm like fuck man i'm tired of like almost dying like i just want to get back home and <laughs> yeah. done. like I'm, i keep on up in the the chance <laughs> right flew to vegas flew to LA, lax and then on our way back it was storming super bad thunder hitting so we had to like land in fucking el paso somewhere somewhere in west texas or whatever and so i'm like god damn i just want to get home and survive and then dry uh fly back again but like on the very first flight I think I had eight before or whatever. And we had like a six o'clock flight in the morning, 6 a.m. I literally feel my stomach bubbling and <laughs> my ass is like, bro, we held this shit all night. You did, you were unaware, but we can no longer do this. Your muscles are weak. You're going to have to take a shit. And then I've always, <laughs> I always, I know that like when you're on a bus, you're not supposed to shit. Like you're supposed to be like, that's the one thing I do. You're supposed to be. Is it an unwritten rule? There's like an unwritten rule, like I guess like <laughs> like on a tour bus or some shit, like, and I would I, I I would just apply it to other people as well, like you don't want to inconvenience them because like when I shit I shit shit. Yeah. I have a uh, I have a large water burger diet, so uh, it's a very hard. <laughs> it's hard. I, I think that's back when I was working out tough, so I was drinking a lot of protein shakes, all that. That's a whole different type of shit. <laughs> it's wild. I am six <laughs> foot two. That stall in the, on the airplane is not built for, for us. six foot two people with mm -hmm. long legs. So I'm literally in there. My knees are grinding on yeah. whatever, like the wall in yeah, front. These up. <laughs> oh, and then like I'm thinking about where the fuck does this shit go? Like, does it fly out the plane? Is there a tank at the bottom? <laughs> it's just shit my and then I think there was like barely enough toilet paper. So I'm just like, this is not like I'm literally and then the planes like moving. I'm like, I when you flush that bitch though, it, it, it they whoosh, like this is strong. They flush it strong. So I think they oh, on a Greyhound. You ever been on a Greyhound? No. Nah. <laughs> That's for when you really broke. <laughs> Greyhounds be like $28 across the country. Uh but I remember Greyhound, I remember taking a shit on a Greyhound bus and how horrible that was.